Hey, John, uh, I know you do a lot of work with high performers. These are people that are excelling in their career. They are type A, they're driven. And I often hear from their spouses. I'm sure you do too. How do I get that person off of this thing? Because they're always doing this. Hold on, hold on, right? And they, they want to get that last call in or they're checking their email and I'll be right with you. Uh, what do you do if you're married to a spouse that seems to also be married to their phone? Well, it's a huge problem these days, Les. It's just like, you know, fentanyl or crack cocaine. That The FOMO, <laughs> the fear of missing out is huge, especially with the high performance you're talking about. Because, you know, work is no longer 9 to 5 or 8 to 5 or anything. Work is 24-7 in 24 time zones. So anybody right. can reach you at any time with the latest fire or opportunity. And so the spouse kind of goes, I mean, do I even count? Do I have your full attention? So what I always tell the spouse of that person uh, with that person in the room, too, because, you know, you want to make sure that the, the conversation is there is to, is to first off say uh, how much I want and love and, and care about our relationship. But I don't feel connected and I don't feel valued. And I don't feel important. You know, one of the things about these high performance less is they have consciences. And when somebody says in a vulnerable way, I kind of miss us. I miss the us we were before all this. They, yeah. A lot of times they'll just say, I'm so sorry. I'm going to change. Instead of, you know, do you know how many, you know, minutes you are on that? That's not the way to start. You can want to say, I, I just need more of us. Right. But the second right. thing is there's, there's, there's what I call a structural solution. And what I mean by structural solution is nowadays you have to have rules of engagement for tech. You just can't say, well, I'll just don't think about it. That's why parents, you know, good parents will take the iPhones away from the kids and, and charge them in the bottom floor or 100, foot, 100 feet away from, you know, the bedrooms because that's right. the structure. So the structure would be, I need X amount of time before dinner where you're now looking at each other and sitting there with a, with a glass of wine talking about life or uh, we don't do it at all at dinner. It's, it's, it's over somewhere unless you've got some, tell me in advance, if you've got a 911 and it's arterial bleeding, honey. I get it. But otherwise, right. no. And you set these reasonable structures up and people have to adhere to them. So it's not just yes. good intentions and love. It's good intentions, love, and the structure. Right. That's so true. And and I know, like, you take a realtor, right? They're like, they live with this thing. And they have to for their livelihood to, to make their business work. It's a real challenge for a lot of couples. Can you give one message? Let's say that uh, a spouse is watching this message right now and they think, well, what would you say if my husband or my wife was in the room? Can you address that? And they might even forward this video onto their spouse to hear about that. I'd probably say this. Um, I want you to succeed in your business. You're really good. And I like how you provide, but I want you more than that. And if you have to be on call 24 seven for the next 30 years in our relationship, um, I would soon just assume we don't have as much money. I want the success, but if we can't carve out some no contact times, I don't think I'm, I, I'll be scared about what we'd be in 30 years. Yeah, that's good. So good. And, uh, it's, it, this is a message for all of us. Nobody's immune, right? Everybody is glued to this thing. And it, uh, it needs to work for us rather than against us in our relationships. There you go. Yeah. Thanks, John.